Good morning, my friends, and welcome back to our Drawing from Home with Miss Antuna. Uh, I have something exciting for us today. I figured with spring right around the corner, we would learn how to make a bunny rabbit today. So I have my twistables out. I have my marker out. Um, if you guys want to grab whatever sketchbook you're using, whatever supplies you want to use today, crayons, markers, pencils, uh, and let's get ready to go. So I'm going to grab my marker. This is the one so that way you guys can see uh, all the different lines that I'm going to make. I'm going to open that up. And today I am going to start my bunny rabbit with a circle. Easy cheesy. I'll give you guys a couple seconds. Now before we go into the big ears and uh, the funny teeth with our, our bunny rabbit, we're gonna actually go from the head all the way down to the feet. So right underneath our uh, circle now, above our circle, we save some room so we can make some bunny ears, but there's plenty of space underneath our circle too. We're gonna go all the way to the bottom of our paper and I'm gonna make two half circles just like that. So they should be pretty close. If you take your finger from your circle down, they should be right in the middle. All right, two half circles. Now we're gonna connect the head and the feet using two curved lines. Now we're gonna take one from the head down to here and the other one down to here. So now we should have a head, a body, and two feet. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make two little hands. Now, instead of using circles or fingers like we would do for a person, I'm gonna show you an easy way to try to make two little bunny hands. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start over here where the curved line meets my circle for my head. And I'm gonna go around make a little hand. So I go out a little bit and swing right back in, just like that. The next thing we're going to do is our rabbit's belly. So what we're going to do is we're going to take um, a line and we're going to go and we're going to do an upside down uppy umbrella like we uh, uppy umbrella, so sorry, like we would for our teddy bears any sort of animal that has a little belly there. So we're gonna do a little uppy umbrella upside down. We're gonna go from this foot up, over, around, and down, connect to that foot. Now again, if any of this is a little tricky for you, you can always pause me, rewind me, and try again. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make our bunny ears. So we're gonna go from our feet all the way up. So bunnies have really long ears so what we're going to do is we're going to make one bunny ear going all the way to the tippy top and another bunny ear going all the way to the tippy top look at those ears so as you can see our bunny now is filling up our whole page the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do the inside of the ear easy cheesy we're going to use the same bunny ear shape and you're just going to put a little one on the inside. And last but not least, before we start coloring, our bunny needs a face. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make two little eyes. Again, if you want to do some cute eyes that you might have learned at home, go for it. That'd be awesome. If you want to add some eyelashes or um, eyebrows, you guys can do that today too. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do a bunny rabbit nose. It's gonna be very close to when we make a kitty cat nose. So you're gonna do a little triangle upside down, just like that. And then we're gonna add a smiley face. Now, right now, our bunny kind of looks like a bear or a cat, but we're going to give it some silly bunny teeth 
And there we go. Almost like SpongeBob teeth. And last but not least, we just need some whiskers. So we're gonna do one, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, and how could I forget? I apologize. After your whiskers, we have to add a little cotton tail. So on the bottom, you can do it on either side. We're gonna use a cloud line again. Remember, we use a cloud line for things like clouds or feathers. Uh, today, we're gonna use a cloud line to make a little cotton tail. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a cloud line and just make it look like a little poof right on the side of your bunny. And just like that, you guys, you created your very first spring bunny. Now, if you don't have anything to color with beyond this point, congratulations, you did a great job drawing. Uh, but if you do and you wanna see how I would decorate my bunny, please stay put. I'm gonna show you guys with my twistables today how I would decorate my bunny rabbit. Have a great day, guys, and hopefully you like how I color. Bye-bye.